Hi guys, I am very excited today to show you these two new products that I got from Everyday Minerals. Oops, let me hold it this way. Dusty Miller and Sand Cherry. So I'm very excited because these are two of their new blushes that they just released and so I couldn't wait to try them. And Dusty Miller is a lucent blush, which means you can kind of wear it all over, whereas Sand Cherry is you know, regular blush meant to be used just as blush. And I'm going to do swatches for you as well as compare these to some of the other blushes that I already have from Everyday, Everyday Minerals that I found to be kind of similar in color. Just if, so if you have those other blushes you can kind of get a better idea. So first I'm going to swatch Dusty Miller for you here on my hand and keep in mind that I'm doing kind of a heavy swatch for the color to show up, but this is meant to be worn as an all over face color, just dusted lightly. I don't know if you can see there, it's just like a peach color with some gold sparkles to it. And I know it looks light on my hand. Let me blend that top part a little bit. See how it just kind of like fades at the top there where I blended it. So that's really how it's meant to be worn. It's just blended all over. And now I will swatch Sand Cherry for you. And honestly, these two colors look so similar to me. I think Sand Cherry is just more pigmented because it's a, a blush. And Dusty Miller is like a watered down Sand Cherry. Sort of. I don't know if that's a good way to describe it. So again, just really almost like a pure pe um, peach shade. It's the second one here, the brighter one. So just like a true peach, I think, with gold shimmer. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. And some of the other colors that I want to show you next to this. I'm going to start with I'm going to start with New Car Smell because that one has quite a bit of orange to it or like a like a peachy kind of orangey color and so I thought that this would be similar <clears throat> to the Sand Cherry and it is but I actually didn't realize that it had pink in it but when I swatch it next to Sand Cherry it looks like doesn't it look more pink so Sand Cherry and New Car Smell right here, it actually looks pinker. So Sand Cherry is more of a true peach color. And another difference between New Car Smell, you can see that, and Sand Cherry is New Car Smell has sparkles that are kind of like on the silver side whereas um, Sand Cherry sparkles are kind of golden sparkles. Let's see what else I have here. I have Peach Tree and this one obviously is if you have ever seen this color, it's very very pigmented. And it's very very sparkly. See that there? So this is like a really deep peach as compared to the Sand Cherry, um, so they're quite different. I also have Summer Stroll here, which looked to be very peachy to me, almost like an orange color, so I thought maybe that could be a good comparison. So this one, I'm going to swatch right underneath because I don't want to get too far on the side of my arm there so you can compare it better. So um, Summer Stroll has like a pink sheen to it. So depending on like how it moves, you can see the pink coming through. So it looks more pink than actually both the New Car Smell and the Sand Cherry. If you can see that there. And then I also have Snuggle, 
which is like a pinky peach. So I knew that this one will kind of be more on the pink side, but thought I would swatch it for you anyways. Alright, so I have it right there. This color here. So it definitely has more pink to it. It's a little bit lighter. So I think the most similar two that I have is um, the Sand Cherry and the New Car Smell. I think that's the closest match to it. And again, New Car Smell is just a hint more pink and more on the silvery sparkles versus gold sparkles. So Sand Cherry would be great for you if you want a blush that's like a true peach or maybe all of the peachy blushes you've tried. Um, tend to have some pink and you're looking for one with less pink and I do want to tell you that I am wearing Dusty Miller just really lightly all over my face today and I'm wearing the Sand Cherry on my cheeks today I know it's not super noticeable but it just comes out like a really nice peach color and the Dusty Miller wasn't really noticeable when I put it on my face it maybe added just a tiny bit of sparkle because both of these do have sparkle um, but again, I just put it really lightly all over my face because I was, you know, afraid of it coming out too peachy for, for my skin. Um, and so it, it's not really noticeable. Um, and so that is all that I want to tell you about these two. Again, they're really pretty colors. So if you kind of are into those peachy colors and you like... These are really warm if you like warm colors because they kind of have the gold sparkle to warm them up even further. Um, so if that is what you like and that's what you're looking for, do consider getting those. I do like them both. I do not know that I'll be using Sand Cherry all that much just because my blushes tend to kind of go orange on me. And so this is kind of close to being orange to begin with. So I'm not sure I'll be wearing it too much. I really prefer the pinky blushes, but I'm definitely glad I got it. It's definitely a really pretty color. I actually tried to put a little bit of it in my crease today um, of my eyeshadow. I don't think it's too noticeable on the camera, but um, it's definitely really pretty. This, the, I love the gold sparkle. I don't find too many products um, that I have from Everyday Minerals, especially for blushes, have those gold sparkles, and I love that. So very pretty colors. Um, do consider getting them if you like, if, if you're looking for that true peach again. So, hope this review was helpful to you, and hopefully the swatches came across um, well on the camera. So that would be helpful to you. Thank you very much for watching.